Welcome to the Dr. April Jasper Show, relevant conversations for business owners of today. If you suffer from dry, scratchy, irritated eyes, the problem may actually stem from your eyelids. Cleansing eyelids daily is essential for maintaining healthy eyes, which is why doctors recommend OcuSoft Lid Scrub Allergy Eyelid Cleanser. New OcuSoft Lid Scrub Allergy removes oil, pollen, and other contaminants from your eyelids to effectively reduce redness, irritation, and itching caused by seasonal allergies. These pre-moistened wipes are easy to use, on the go, or at home. Simply wipe and leave on. As the industry standard of care, OcuSoft has a full line of eyelid cleansers for various conditions. Available through eye care professionals, most retail outlets, and Amazon.com. Visit OcuSoft.com for more details. Hi, everyone. We're so glad you're here listening and watching. Some of you, some of you just listen to us, and that's okay as well, because we try to make this easy for whatever way you are watching and listening to the podcast. This is an awesome day. I am joined here with Michael Rowe, the CEO of Inovia. Michael, thank you for being here. Well, thank you, April. I'm so happy to be here. I'll just add for the people listening, we'll be doing show and tell later. So if they want to come back and see it after that, <gasps> that would be even better. That's a good point. You won't be able to really appreciate what is going to happen here in a few minutes if you don't go watch us in person. All right, so here we go. What I want to start with, Michael, is your favorite. No, I'm, I'm joking. It's my favorite part of the show, and that is where I get to hear about you. So tell us, tell our listeners, our viewers, you've been in eye care for a long time. But tell us what, give us a little bit of your history and then what brought you to Inovia. I've been in eye care since the last century. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it has been a long time. Uh, when I started out in eye care at, uh, at Allergan, uh, even back then in the 1990s, everybody recognized how difficult it was to use eye drops. And anybody wow. who's used eye drops now know that for some people they have to lay down to be able to put them yeah. in. They have to have other people put it in for them. So everybody knows it's not an easy thing to do. So even back then, we were trying to find a different way yeah. uh, to put in eye drops. And we were working on something to make it easier for people, to make it horizontal. Um, weren't able to solve the problem back then. And now at Inovia, where I'm CEO, uh, we've had the technology catch up to a point where we can do this. So basically, we've taken an inkjet printer and shrank it uh, to something that fits in your hand. So now you can install eye drops. We'll show them how to do it later uh, yeah. with just the touch of a button. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and as you've said, my, my involvement with eye care has been for many, many years. It's a passion of mine because yeah. where else can you do something where people get such an immediate benefit like you have Absolutely. when you're treating patients? They come in with problems, they leave happy. Yeah. You know, isn't that <laughs> wonderful? It is. It's yeah. a great field to be in. And I love that you, what I love about you though, Michael, is not just that you're all about innovation and bringing new products to market, but what I also love about you is it's not just any product, it's something that's gonna revolutionize our practices and make such a big difference for our patients. So um, thank you. If I don't remember to say it later, thank you for all you guys are doing at the company. And I can't wait for people to see what's available right now for them to have in their practices. Right now. Good. All right, let's talk about it. Yeah. So my first question for you is, why does Inovia want to make pupil dilation easier and more comfortable for patients? You talked about it a little bit, but tell me more. Right. You would think this, this doesn't seem like a big deal. But the problem is that, and for many of your people who are listening or watching, a lot of patients will wave off a comprehensive eye exam because yeah. they don't want to be dilated. It's the yep. putting the drops in, it's you have to give them a tissue, it's a little bit messy, but it's not just that. They don't want to be dilated all day long, right. so they'll wave it off. And that can be a problem because, as you know, there are so many diseases and conditions you can yeah. find by looking at the retina. I mean, what I learned, for example, you can diagnose diabetes by looking right. at the retina. That's amazing to me. So. It would be better, I think, from a healthcare perspective if we can encourage patients to have that comprehensive eye exam by making it easier for them. Right. And, you know, there are going to be patients, I think, Michael, that are going to hear about this and they're going to be asking for it. So they're going to say, I want that easier way that I heard about. Right. So I don't have to have drops in my eyes that run down my face. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, we'll talk about that some more too. Yeah. And, and really, that's the next thing I do want yeah. to talk about is why do patients want this? So why would a patient, I see why the practice would, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. 
But why is this so important to a patient as well that they have the opportunity to go to a practice Mm -hmm. where the doctor is going to utilize the OptiJet to deliver the dilation mist. I call it a mist. Is that what you call it? We call it a mist also. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. So, and we're going to show everybody what it looks like, but Mm -hmm. why is this important to a patient? It makes it easier and more comfortable for them and faster as well. So you can imagine now the current process is somebody has to come in, they go into the exam chair. You might be able to put them back a little bit. You have to hang, basically hang on top of them and hold their eye open, give them a tissue and put one, two, three drops in. And um, it's not always pleasant. The drops sting. Uh, Sometimes they certainly run all over the place if you're wearing makeup or something like that. It's not the greatest experience. And with the OptiJet, you don't have to do any of that. You're you're head on, horizontal. You'll see that you just hold the small device up to them. And with a punch of a button, it's there. It's done. And in clinical studies, only one patient out of 131 even felt anything. Oh, so wow. it's just so much more comfortable. Oh, they love it. I'm amazed at how they're not just happy with the result, meaning like you said, that they don't mm-hmm. have a drop rolling down their face. Mm-hmm. They're shocked that they don't have to have a tissue. Right. And I can tell you, pull in the tissue every single time. And now I hand them the box. I mean, you know, that's what we mm-hmm. were doing. Right. They love that, but they also love the fact that it's new and unique and different and they've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. So they're very interested in the new technology as well, which makes me really happy because they they know when they come to our practice, we always have the latest and the best. And I think something your practice also does is it's very hygienic as well because there's (laughs) no tip, there's no protruding part to it. So there's nothing to touch an eyelash or accidentally touch an eye. So it's also a very clean way to do it. Do you remember the days when we would tell our teams, Mm. if you drop the lid to the bottle, technically, you probably should just throw the whole thing away. If you touch the tip of the bottle to the patient's eye, Mm -hmm. you have to throw the whole thing away. And it's not cheap for a bottle of drops. No, no, it's not. And the problem also is that sometimes those things happen and you're not even aware. Yep. So... Exactly. Yeah. Patient reaches forward. You're right. Oh my word. You're, mm-hmm. I mean, 20, let's see, 27 years of doing this. Yeah. And I will also say when I was a student, I think the one thing I hated the most mm-hmm. was putting drops in people's eyes. I could do any procedure that they taught me to do, but right. the one thing that stressed me out as yeah. much as the patient yeah. was dealing with the eye drops. So, I mean, I think that there's a lot. That I've Mid-Combi seen people does. basically have to pry people's eyes open. <laughs> so yes. Mm-hmm. And kids love it. Yeah. What about kids? What have you guys seen as far as the company? I know yeah. it's so much easier. We have a clinical study we're involved in for something called pediatric progressive myopia, where we have hundreds of kids as young as five years old, and they are using this uh, at night by themselves. They brush their teeth. They give themselves a spray. So yeah. much easier than using an eye drop for them. Yeah, I've seen it actually on uh, your website. I've seen how the kids mm-hmm. actually, you guys have videos and how they use it. It's pretty cool. Well, how does Midcombi fix all of what we just talked about? All those, all that dilemma. And I'm going to show everybody too, but go ahead and tell us first. Well, first of all, it's a unique fixed combination of tropicamide and phenylephrine, which are the two leading pupil dilation medications. So right away, you're getting something from a pharmaceutical point of view that you know is going to be effective. Uh, The way it works is it sprays horizontally in micro droplets, about eight microliters, which is about one fifth of that of an eye drop. So as you can imagine, you're getting a lot less drug on the eye, yet because you're putting it right on top of the eye, it works as effectively, if not better. Wow. One of the nice things is in a recent clinical study, we tried using one spray. Right now it's indicated for two because that's really for people who are having surgery and you want to have a big pupil and to be able to do that. But in one study, uh, we did it with one, and it works just as well, and it doesn't last as long, which is nice because many of these people want to be able to go back to work or go back to their activities faster. How long is long? Like, how long? I don't think, you know, I was in a a group event one time with a bunch of doctors, and they asked us, how long do you think traditional Mm -hmm. eye drops, dilating eye drops last? Mm -hmm. And I think most of the room said, well, we tell our patients about two to three hours when the reality (laughs) is not. What is the reality? The reality is five to six. Yeah. Um, With Midcombi, it's about three and a half, which might sound long, but that's almost half of the five to six. So that's pretty good. Well, by the time they're finished with their visit with us and they work on glasses Mm -hmm. and... 
you know, pay their bill and get ready to leave and have their fancy sunglasses and get to their next spot. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. Yeah. So They're ready perfect. to read. They're again. ready to read again. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let yeah. me see if I can show everybody how this works. I'm going to torture Michael. No, it's not. That's the whole point. It's so much easier. So as you guys can see, when I hold the OptiJet, this is the part the patient's going to look at. So when you use it in the office like we do, you basically, oh, and I love that it says push to fill. That's perfect. Just in case you forget. Exactly. So you can do this to fill it. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's turning blue. And if you don't see it in, on the camera, you can look on the website. Then all you have to do is there's a line right here. So you can line it up with a patient's canthus. You tell them to look at the blue light. Do you see it, Michael? Mm -hmm. And then you spray. There it is. And it's on him. And, and you know what's really cool is it's not all over his face. Right. He blinked, but he can't blink faster than this gets to him. Yeah. So maybe there's a better and, way to and, say that. And what it feels like is it just feels wet. So it's not yeah. painful. It doesn't sting. It's yeah. as if you're walking in the rain and you felt what a happened? raindrop. Exactly. <laughs> so it just feels wet. I think something happened. Yes. Yeah. So what's really cool is you can use alcohol to clean <clears throat> the surface of it, but nothing goes into it. So no. explain that to docs as well. Sure. So if I look at the inside of this, let me, let me point this here. That hole that's in the center, there's actually a shutter behind that. And that shutter only opens when you activate it. So it's, it's sealed off from the environment. Yeah. And nothing comes out uh, of there except for the spray. And the spray is like, I, I compare it to a shower head, like a rain shower head where you right. have all those little streams. And yep. so it's not a squirt gun, it's 109 little micro droplets that come out the shape of your cornea. It's so gentle. And I think when I look at it, so if you guys look at it yourself, one thing I didn't tell you mm -hmm. is that when it's ready to go, you've got the blue light, mm -hmm. but the, the silver or metalish looking, what might probably looks like that on camera is actually a mirror. So you can see your eye. Right. When mirror. you were holding it up to my eye, that's what I was looking at. And right. I could see my pupil. Yeah. I love yeah. it. So you can look right at it. You yeah. can tell the patient, I tell them to look at the blue light or I tell them to look at their eye in the mirror, mm -hmm. whichever works. And then the line, like I said, you line it up with the patient's canthus and you can just, you push right here and it releases the mist. There we go. <laughs> and, the, and there it is. You can barely see it. Yeah. Eight microliters. That's incredible. Thank I you. Mean, what an invention. It, what, it took a lot of technology to do this. And like I said, shrinking the inkjet printer and doing everything we el else, it took us about five years uh, to get to this. So Midcombi, as you described, is available today. Yes. People can purchase it to use in their practice. Yes. In fact, we should, let me see if I can do this. So it has this base unit, which is rechargeable right there. And so this you can keep for years. And then this cartridge has about 75 patients worth wow. of drug. So you can use this on 75, 150 eyes, wow. uh, 75 patients. And then you uh, you don't refill it. You don't so refill do you do? this. This you, you you can toss this and okay. you get a new one. Love it. And these charge how? Uh, this charges with a USB. You have to charge it once a month, and okay. it takes about forty minutes to get a full charge. So at the wow. end of the day, at the end of the month, you just plug it in. So tell us more about how it compares, and and we'll talk about ease of use. I mean, you guys saw how easy it was for mm -hmm. me to uh, dispense. Mm -hmm. how easy it was for me to use Midcombi and, right. and Michael's response. But let's talk about first, we all know how to use eye drops, but how does this compare as far as um, training? How is it easier for the, our staff? Because not all doctors are going to be the ones using the product. Right. And, and often it, it is staff, uh, the technicians and, and the assistants, uh, and they're, they're big supporters. Um, and they're very good at using eye drops. Yeah. So um, they're very good at that. This will take about five minutes for them to get used to. Uh, for some people, they just grab it and they go right away. Other people, it's, yeah. I've not seen anything like this. Uh, but the nice thing is that it's very easy once you've used it once or twice. And we say that the best thing we can do is get it in the hands yeah. of the staff because you know we can talk about it, we can show it to you, but it's nothing like actually using it. I love it. What yeah. about cost? So, and 
you know, I think that we're going to see that this just right. takes over and there isn't mm -hmm. an eye drop in an office again. But right. but let's talk about cost and is it is it cost effective for a practice? It is because if you look at the price of a 10 ml of phenylephrine and a 10 ml of tropicamide, then those prices change uh, every day when you go to purchase them. Uh, this is priced uh, about that, maybe a few cents more uh, per patient. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it's FDA approved. It's not compounded. You know what you're getting. That's is, important. Is very safe and very effective. Um, and what I can also say is in addition to the direct cost, the cost savings in terms of time, because you're not having to put yeah. in multiple drops, however long that might take. Right. And it's very reliable in that 96% of the patients in the clinical study fully dilated with one spray. Yep. So you can always go back if you have to in certain patients and do a second spray. Um, but it's not like eye drops where very often I understand you'll put one in, you'll come back in 15 minutes, they're not quite dilated, you have to do it again. So it's, a, yeah. it's very reliable. And how long does it last? So if somebody purchased Midcombi today, mm -hmm. yep. what's the shelf life? Um, there is no expiration on that except for the drug expiration itself. So it's many, many months. So if you have 75 patients, whether you're extremely busy and you do that in a week yeah. or you do that in the month, you'll be fine. Love it. How yeah. do you know when it's empty? The blue light doesn't uh, light up or you just don't see the spray? How do you know so when it's time to refill it? Every morning when you're going to use Midcombi that day, uh, what we say to do is you take an air spray because what that does is it primes the system. Oh, okay. So you could just do it over a sink or something like that. Yep. Uh, when it's running out, when you're doing that air spray, it won't spray. Okay. So hopefully you have a second cartridge somewhere that you could just you know, <laughs> switch it in and be ready to go. And that's a good tip for our practices. I can't tell you how many times somebody says we have no more dilating drops and everyone's searching and there's nothing in the backup. So uh, I love that. I love right. the case these come in mm -hmm. and how everything's in its place. You can see when you've pulled the last cartridge. Mm -hmm. Don't wait that long though. <laughs> right, right. You can even write on here when you put it in. Nice. If you want to use that as a reminder. Okay. So now somebody that's listening to this, mm -hmm. Michael, has probably never even heard about it and they don't know how to buy it. Ah. So what's, well, how do we get them in touch with you guys? So you'd want to go to inoviarx.com, E-Y-E-N-O-V-I-A-R-X.com. Uh, you can register there. And as long as you have your license number, uh, you can purchase this uh, with, a, with a credit card. There you go. And if you uh, work with some of the buying groups, you can get a special price as well. So is there a future for other products to be using the OptiJet dispenser, or can we not talk about that? No, we can. We are in late-stage clinical trials right now with a product uh, codename uh, Micropine, as I mentioned before, for pediatric progressive myopia, and that's the disease where children's eyes are growing like footballs. And unfortunately, yeah. as they get older, they get retinal detachments and real serious vision problems. Uh, we intend to be looking at that data later this year. It's very exciting for us. Uh, because if that's positive, we may have the first drug device option uh, that is really suitable for the OD office, especially because right. it's mostly ODs who are treating these patients, where basically they can just, a kid can just spray themselves in the evening, one yeah. spray, and hopefully have a 60% reduction in progression. That's very exciting for us. Yeah. Again, why you chose Inovia to yep. be there. I love it. Absolutely. The things that you guys are doing incredible. I think that for anyone who hasn't heard of Inovia and met Michael and his team, it's just, uh, it really is groundbreaking and thank it's going to make a huge difference in the future for all of us and our patients. Well, thank you for your support and your yeah. help along the way. It's been tremendous for us and we appreciate it. I hope everybody starts with Midcombi. I think the other benefit is if they have this in the practice, patients will see it. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes time to have other products, they'll be very familiar with the OptiJet itself. So I think it's a great place to start, don't you? I agree. And what we say that for you people who do choose to use Midcombi, that you use Midcombi because you care. Yes. Oh, I love that. That's perfect. Right. Well, thank you all of you for listening. Michael, thank you for being thank here. You. I appreciate you. I'm so happy to. Thanks so much. Your eyes and your vision are under attack, damaging blue light from the sun. Your phone, your computer, your tablet, even light bulbs and car headlights is constantly bombarding you. The good news is our eyes actually already have a line of defense to counter the effects of blue light. This defense is made up of three pigments called carotenoids. 
MacU Health with Micromicell, the only supplement with the exclusive patent on all three macular carotenoids and Micromicell technology.